So a lot of Sea of Thieves players use consoles. On top of that, there are plenty of PC players who prefer to use controllers. There are dozens of us. Dozens! Still, most tip guides, videos, and streamers seem to be aimed more towards mouse and keyboard players and not controller players. So I decided to make a series of videos for the controller players out there. Videos that just might make you a control lord. Stick to the end and I will show you the one thing you need to do as a controller player to get a leg up in Sea of Thieves. Part one, settings. Now, there's a lot to go over, so I'm only gonna concentrate in this video on the things you can do right out of the box. So this is with the vanilla controller in mind. And while most of what's in here is useful for a PC controller player, some of it is Xbox specific. Okay, first, field of view. From the game, go into settings, then down to graphics settings. Default FOV is 78. Max this to 90 and you'll see the difference immediately. Anyone playing on default FOV is giving themselves a disadvantage. Here's what 90 FOV can see. Here's the default 78. Next, keybinds. Out of the box, you have three unused buttons on your controller. D-pad left, D-pad right, and right stick click. Go to settings, controller, and then to item shortcuts. Map whichever two things you use the most to D-pad left and D-pad right. I suggest food and throwables, but choose whatever you think fits with your playstyle. When food and throwables are mapped to your D-pad, you'll be able to pull up both instantly, as well as switch between them at lightning speed. After that, go to settings, input, and then controller sensitivity. You want to bring this all the way to 10 eventually. Don't max this up at once. Do it gradually, a little bit each one or two play sessions. Get used to the new controls and then push it up again. Do that until you reach 10. Take a look at the difference between default controller sensitivity and sensitivity brought to 10. Once you're used to moving this quickly, you'll be able to make much sharper turns, crucial for those moments when a picosecond or a pixel can make all the difference in a fight. You're probably gonna wanna do the same thing with gun sensitivity too. When you aim going into ADS mode, you might want less sensitivity to help with your aim, but this is gonna be up to you. Moving on, we go to settings, back to input, and play around with dead zone and maybe even response curve. Decreasing look stick dead zone will make your turns even sharper. Maybe too sharp, so don't worry about bringing this all the way down if it doesn't feel right. And finally, the one thing you need to do as a controller player in Sea of Thieves. Seriously, if you only make one of these setting changes, this is the one it should be. Remap your jump button. With default settings, you use the same thumb to aim and to jump. You literally cannot do them both at once. So go to Settings, Controller, then Remap Jump from the A button to either the right joystick or to the right bumper, depending on which one feels better to you. Now, they both have their disadvantages. Using the bumper means you're attacking with your middle finger, and the stick can be hard to hit sometimes. But they're both vastly superior to using the A button to jump. Once you do this, you'll notice your game improving the very next time you play. You'll be able to jump and aim at the same time just like a mouse and keyboard player. This makes sword fights especially easier. You can specifically use your new jump to avoid being hit while not losing distance. Notice how little health I had here. One hit would have killed me. But because I could jump out of his way while mostly keeping him in my sights, I was able to stay on his flank and behind him until I was finally victorious. Okay, okay, fine, one extra hint. You may have noticed that whenever you load in, you're sailing the sea with all players. Well, all players include mouse and keyboard PC players. If you want to make sure you're on an even footing with any potential opponents, you can change this too. From any time before you get to the Set Sail page, hit Settings, Matchmaking Preferences, and set Prefer Xbox Players with Controllers to Yes. Now, everyone on your crew needs to be an Xbox player with a controller, whether it's just you to you and three friends. And actually, I don't even recommend relying on Xbox servers. But especially when you're starting out, it helps to guarantee you're getting into fair fights. Hopefully this helps. Check out my Sea of Thieves stream on twitch.tv slash calicosmack and look for my next video where I'll go over some of the accessories you can buy to improve your game immeasurably. I'll see you out there.